Hey guys, it's Casual Savage here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the iPod, well, all models of iPod Touch, iPhones, and iPad running on iOS 6 and uh, iOS 6.1. What you'll need for this is ev Evasion, that's right on the screen now, uh, there will be a download link in the description, and you will need an iPod Touch 5th generation or iPhone or any iPod, any iPhone or any um, iPad. Also, you will need the USB port as normal. Enough talking, let's get onto the video. Okay, so before we get onto this jailbreak, what you want to do is open iTunes with your iPod Touch connected or iPad, whatever you're going to use, and just simply back it up by clicking on your iPod Touch and clicking back up, or you can right click on it and click back up right there. So back your iPod up before this, before you do the jailbreak. That way, if anything goes wrong, you can get your data back where you left off before you jailbroke it. Hey guys, so now we get on to the actual jailbreak. As you can see on my screen right now, there is the jailbreak software. It is called Invasion. It is a pretty good software. Let's get on to it. So this download will be in the description. And what you want to do is right click and run as administrator. Then you just click yes. Okay, so let me just zoom out a bit here. Zoom out a bit more. Okay, so uh, now you want to get your iPod Touch fifth generation or iPad, iPad Mini, iPhone, iOS six device, and just connect it in. So I'm just going to connect mine in right now. Oh, right there, and it is connected. And now we just oh wait. Um, let me just cancel this. Let me just leave that there. Okay, so you need to disable the password on your phone or iPod, whatever you have. Otherwise, this jailbreak may fail. So now I'm just going to uh, go and disable my thing, my password. Turn off password. Okay, now the password is off. So, what I have to do now is take it out and put it back in. Like so. And now on the screen, when it focuses, you'll see that it is connected and you can see right there iPod Touch 5G and it has showed it so now what you've got to do this part is very simple I'm just going to get my iPod Touch and show you everything that happens in this process okay so what you do you just hit the jailbreak button right there I'm just going to put this to the right actually so you can see it's a bit better okay so you click jailbreak which is right there And now you let it do its thing. This can take up about three, two, three, four minutes, depending on how fast your computer laptop is. Uh, it doesn't actually give you a time how long it'll take, but it should be quick. I'm going to be recording the whole thing. If it is too long, I will just cut it out, but or probably just speed it up so I can prove that I did not do anything else to the iPod Touch and it didn't crash or anything. Oh, if I can let my iPod stand there, that would be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there it is. It's just, uh... Retrieving information from the device to generate jailbreak data. This is probably the longest part of it. But, 
it's not to worry as long as you get your device shell broken it'll be all good so yeah this does work this is an untethered jailbreak for iOS 6.0 and iOS 6.1 so that's good it works with the iPad mini I uh, iPhone 5 and obviously I'm using now my iPod Touch 5th generation okay guys this is taking a bit longer than usual so I'm just going to uh, speed it up right now but you can still uh, see what's happening Okay, so you can see it has started to make progress, and the iPod itself has started to boot up again, or reboot. <laughs> it's making slow progress, but it is uh, working slowly. Okay, so it does say, do not touch your... Uh, device because it is waiting for your uh, device to boot back up so just leave everything as it is right now so once that device has, st has booted up again it will start doing stuff again okay so it has booted up and uh, now we just need to wait for evasion to do something Okay, so now it's just waiting for the device to be ready. Preparing stage 2 jailbreak data. Step 1 out of 3. So you can hear it making the noises. So it's found my iPod again. Just close that. Now it's just finished step 3. So now it is actually uploading Cydia the best part of the jailbreak right there hopefully this thing focuses is it focusing? is it? oh ok that's Bill Fan anyway but yeah it is uploading Cydia now it's uploading the packages right there zoomed out a bit much in now it is done and it says to continue oh um unlock the device so I unlock the device and if I go to just scroll across and look for this app right there you should get this little app here and you should want to click it your screen might go black like that and now do not tap the icon again now leave the jailbreak to everything so you tap that icon right there once and do not tap it again so now it's just preparing the jailbreak data once again injecting final jailbreak data jailbreak complete so now you're basically done it is until the jailbreak you can just delete uh, or cancel out this right there now we just have to wait for the iPod touch itself to do its thing oh that's failed oh is it gonna stand there we go so this is the new jailbreak sign right there logo I guess And yeah, um, these guys have worked pretty hard on this to get this out. 
so uh, donate to them, I'm sure you've got some money. I probably will be donating as well because I know how hard this stuff is to get this stuff up and running. They've been working on it for quite a while and they've done it, so yeah. At least five pounds because it'll be pretty good for them. So now it says done continuing boot. So as you can see this jailbreak is very simple compared to the other jailbreaks that have recently been out and by far the safest easiest jailbreak. So now it is back up. Just wait for it right there. Okay, so now I will be unlocking it. Hopefully if it doesn't fall. Now we scroll across. Let me just pick this up now. Now we scroll across to Cydia. Right there. Amazing Cydia. Just lying and waiting for you. So now it's got to go through this stuff, preparing file system and stuff like that. Do not exit Cydia, otherwise this will no longer work. And you'll have to do the whole process again. Let's unlock this. Let's go to Cydia. There, that's Cydia right there. Classic icon. Oh, obviously I'm a hacker. Nah. Okay, so you just pick any of them. There you go, Cydia is on now on your iPod Touch 5th generation iPad mini iPhone 5 finally after a long time. Cydia has arrived.